jingle bells jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells jingle bells jingle. Hey y'all, what's new? I'm that girl, Lola, and you're that girl too. Let's get into the video. Y'all see these scissors, right? We know what time it is. To check this hair out. Wait, let me move y'all down. Come on, bro. We will be taking this hair out on the beach. Show y'all my hair. It's like gingery, if y'all can tell. It's messy. I'm sad, but at the same time, happy because it's been too long. So, y'all, I'm gonna show y'all like pieces of it in increments. Like, I'm not gonna like bore y'all with this whole video because it's gonna be two parts. This part is gonna be the first part where I'm just taking it out, and the second part is gonna be the part how I'm post tomorrow. But I am doing my wash day. You see, because I'm getting a slick back ponytail. Like, you know the type that has a long piece of hair on the back? Yeah, I'm getting a slick back ponytail. I might put it on the screen. I might not. So, yeah. So, basically, that's what I'm getting. So, let's take it out. Let's chop it off. Let's look. I think I'm going to chop it, like, Why the hair starts to fray apart like here. But girl, you know when you cut it like you find like you gotta start feeling yourself right when you cut it. Like this would have been a cute hairstyle if I got on this short and like cause like layers like this, like Moesha hair. Like Moesha hair, this would have been cute. Isha Mautara Itara Mautara Itara but y'all, I think I'm going to take a little, a little, I think I'm going to wait 30 minutes to actually start taking it out because I want to chill some more, so I'll be back. Hey y'all, it's like much later. I started, I cut them at like 12 and now it's like 3. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm dead. And I'm hungry. But I'm going to put this in sections. Like, I'm going to put it in sections. And I'm going to show you anything in the sections. And I'm probably going to have something to eat. They don't start. Y'all, skull drain me. I'm tired. But I think I'm going to start with the back then come front. Because it's easier to start from the back so you can see what you're doing. So y'all, like, this video is going to be like me talking and me speeding it up. Like, it's going to make me talking to you. And you're just going to see me take my hair out. So, yeah. And it's probably going to take me to at least 12 tonight. 
but yeah. <sighs> yeah, I'm just dead. What we gonna do this here? Now we got a pen and sit us off the high bun. I look like quicker. I look crazy. And this is the section we're going to start with. I don't have a lot of braids, but like I like to go braid by braid, section by section. It's just how I like to do my stuff. So we're going to go get something to eat and then I might, might, I might do a little mukbang for y'all, but my goal will get something to eat. Then I will start. So, let's talk for like a couple seconds. Because this is how I'm going to do the video. I'm going to talk, then I'm going to stop, then I'm going to talk, I'm going to talk. You know, like a montage kind of. So, I'm going to talk for all of the, well, I'm going to just talk about what I want to talk about. Turned after it was over, the city was rubble by then. All that I knew was buried and gone. That's tough. After you lost everything. Wait, give me one second. Okay, my major rep practice. Um, okay, no conversation. This my major rep practice. My cap. My my major rep captain had texted me. You need to get better at it. One more second. Again. Let me stop. Uh, a little mothering is fine, but you should be off to bed. Cause I grew up like a whole inch of hair when I was. I'm kidding. I'm just scared to cut my hair. That's besides the point. Y'all, let's talk about it. Cause school drains me. Like I'm so tired at the end of the week, and I need like a mental health break. The thing is, like, what's the point of having one if break is almost uh, uh, come? If break is almost here, but that's me complaining. So y'all. I don't know if y'all know about it, but y'all have y'all heard about the um issues that have are happening really in Palestine, right? So what's happening basically is Israel is trying to take over their land, and they say they're only trying to take over like they were saying they only want them to evacuate from the north, but they're also attacking the, the south, which is making them have to move. Which is replacing, which is deplacing a lot of people, and I don't know if y'all know, but it's so brutal about what's happening in Palestine. Like people are dying, and people are and people are being oppressed. Cause so, y'all, so y'all. Like, we need to speak about this more because what's happening is a genocide. And I'm not anti-Semitic. I don't not like them because they're Jewish. I don't like, I don't like, I don't like the people of Arizona because they're Jewish. I have nothing against their religion. What I have against is that the government, like, how, how, how can you, like, 
dance and laugh and party while taking somebody's land away from them that you came and took in the first place because Palestine was all of what Israel is, but Israel came, but the people, well, what happened basically happened is Jewish people were migrating to Palestine because of the Holocaust, and then they started taking over, and then they like, and then they started taking it over, which bore Israel, and Israel just basically took their land. Like what happened to the natives, like what happened to the people of Africa. They still have their land, but it's not all theirs, and they're going through genocides too. Like, have y'all heard the stuff that's happening in um, Congo, Sudan? There's plenty other 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 places. Like, what's going on in Congo is that they're being forced to mine cobalt, right? That's what's in your phone. Your phone is made of cobalt. That's what they use to make like electricity and like electronics. That's like the battery in your phone. And instead of them paying for it, they're forcing them to and then taking it without having to pay for it. So they're just basically doing it so they don't have to pay, which is dumb. You should just pay them, which is so stupid. You should just pay them for their resources, which I feel like is so stupid just not to pay them. They're being mutilated plenty, like a lot of women are being raped too over there. Like, I think I heard, I saw something like where 55 women are raped hourly there, which is like, a, which is like, it's just it's disgusting. Also, they're mutilating people. A man had to burn himself on fire to be put in the media so he could be aware of what's happening with aware like y'all are not speaking about this enough and i'm a, and i'm ignorant for not speaking about it enough either i make the excuse that oh my gosh i don't have time like i have all the time in the world i live in america <sighs> but that is the point y'all need to speak about what's happening and what's happening in sudan I, what's happening in sudan I, or i think it's sudan i think it's sudan What's happening in Sudan is that the two the vice the vice president and their president are having a petty man fight over who gets to control of Sudan. So and countless people are getting caught in the crossfire, which is deplacing people, which is killing people, which is like genocide. Like y'all. And here I was going to Y'all need to get yourself together. I don't understand because we are done fighting them. We are done fighting for this damn land. Do y'all think anybody's gonna support y'all because of what the shit language? Because of the stuff that they want through. No, nobody's going to support you. No. So yeah, like people need to really shake up. Y'all like it. Mom went out. That's just what I point. Yeah, but y'all is really lacking. And if anything, America and all of the places that are benefiting from these genocides and and injustice things happening need to find a way to change their society or we need as human beings in America to change our society by force because they're not going to listen to us if we protest they're, they're not going to listen to us no there's countless of protesters but they're not calling for a ceasefire we need to cease fire because you are killing children y'all are killing adults y'all are killing babies Y'all are forcing people to have to carry their children's but dead bodies, their children's limbs. Um, children are losing their parents. Like there's countless people in Palestine. There's countless children in Palestine that have become orphans, or there's countless families that have been killed, or there's countless people's families like. There was this one journalist in Palestine that his whole family was killed because he was speaking the truth too much.
accidentally turned myself into an articulate lion. Like, they want them to shut up, but they're not going to because we need to do something about it. So, yell it out. Email, call your, your, um, representative and ask them why, if they support a ceasefire, say that, if they support a ceasefire, say something nice like, I will definitely be voting for you again, like, you stand for justice, etc. And if they don't, call them and ask them why, um, call them and ask them why again, because they're not going, you're just going to spam them, spam them, spam them, because they're going to get tired, they're going to be sick of it, and they're going to bend to the people's will. Trust me. Well, not bend to our will, but trust me. And these people probably won't be getting elected again, like Joe Biden. Joe Biden is way too old to be a president. My one, my guy is like, I think 80 something, right? And is still a president. Like my bro is about to croak. He forgets what he's saying on stage when he goes up and talks. Like, do y'all want a forgetful president? Do you want a president that forgets what he's supposed to be saying every time he gets up there? That's embarrassing to me, and I don't want somebody like that. That embarrasses me as a country. And for him to say that the U.S. supports Israel, I'm like, not all of us support Israel. So you can't even speak for the whole U.S. So shut up. Be quiet. <laughs> it's just sick. I'm sick of it. I'm so sick of it. And it hurts my heart that... Not enough people are talking about it because on TikTok, I just see every TikTok be about Palestine. Every TikTok supporting Palestine, because Palestinians, like, every repost. And I'm not doing that, and I know I should be doing that, but I'm being lazy. And being la me being lazy is not going to help those people. So I need to start being less lazy. <coughs> yeah. So, y'all. Speak up, call y'all representatives, speak about everything, and boycott. Boycott Starbucks, boycott HP, boycott Disney, etc. And like, there's different um, types of boycotts. So go to, uh, I think it's called BDMs, BDS. BDS. I think it's called the BDS website. Go there, and they'll tell you a company, a, a list of companies to boycott. Now, I know you all can't boycott stuff like Google, Disney, but they want to pressure boycott. So like, you ask them every time, why do they do this or why do they do that? Now we're boycotting Starbucks and Zara too, even though that's not on the list. We're boycotting both Starbucks and Zara. I've never bought nothing from Zara ever, so. I'm not even upset about that. Uh, boycott both Zara and Starbucks because Zara put a post on their Instagram that was extremely offensive. Extremely. Boycott these people because if we boycott them, they lose money. They lose funding. Like countless Starbucks have had them shut down since this boycott. So, y'all, yeah, keep doing what y'all doing. And y'all people who buy Starbucks and put it on camera, that's embarrassing. You're embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing. And whenever I look at it, I'm like, girl, not Starbucks. You're buying Starbucks? Oh, no, honey. It's embarrassing as... It's so embarrassing. Like, what are you doing? We're just going to do a montage. Because, like, y'all, I, I need to get my rage out. Female rage. Nice clicking this button. So I'm gonna come back with my hair. It's like three fourths the way it's taken out. No, I mean one fourth. But I'm like I'm halfway done now. If I can tell. I think I'm gonna just come back when this is all done. 
But y'all think about the topic that I told y'all about because y'all really need to like show up and show out for them people. You hear me? But yeah, y'all yeah, look so quick. Okay. I'll be back when it's all done. So we done. Got our two fans for now. Who make tangling like not happen? But besides the point, this is how much hair I lost. That's not bad considering I had this since August. It's like a whole ponytail. And offers everything, including private family baths, children's baths, and gender segregated swimsuits. So this is just a bunch of shame. Oh, yeah. Now, this is all the braiding hair that's that mean the ladies are avoiding us? I think I'm on the way. But bye, y'all. Bye. So, see you in part two.